Hey guys. hey guys, welcome to Fam Life Night. So good to be with you. And like always, we're going to give a few minutes for uh, those to uh, hey, log on. Hey, Sarah. That way. There we go. Not too much. Yay. Hey, Monica. Hey, Monica. Hey, Esther and Rhonda, Teddy. Teddy, James. Good to see you How guys you doing, tonight. Sir? We're super excited to be here. Yes, we are. And uh, God's going to do some amazing things tonight. Amen. Um, Pastor Nando. Hey, man. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Rhonda. Rhonda, hello. How are you? Hey, Diana, Pastor Anna. Marisol, Marisol we're praying hey, for you, girl. girl. And your mama. Yeah. And your daddy. Hey, Pearl, Pearl and hey. Christina Maria and Carl. Yes. It's good to see you guys. We're trying to get YouTube up and going. For whatever reason, it's struggling tonight. So Once again. Once again. We'll figure that out. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, Pastor Anna. Kevin Simmons. Kevin Simmons. Hey, Amy. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Yep. Um, and then... Those who are going to be joining us can join in with us. Um, tonight, originally, we uh, planned on uh, teaching a lesson on on setting goals. Um, but as some of you may know, um, some of the events that took place today, we felt like the more appropriate thing would be uh, for our family, our Faith Alive family, to gather together and pray for our country. And for us to uh, share a few encouraging words to you tonight, um, this is a time where the church has to, um, have, we, we have to come together and uh, we have to be there for one another. I know some of you guys are um, experiencing some challenging situations out there and uh, we just, uh, we miss being in person with you guys. And so we just, uh, we wanted to do our best tonight to be in person with you <laughs> uh, via Facebook Live, but um, just gather together and just pray with you guys uh, right. because this is definitely a season uh, that the church needs to be praying and the church needs to be coming together. And uh, we are going to be uh, updating you with our situation as far as uh, our in-person meetings real soon. We've been praying about that, seeking God for uh, godly wisdom on that. And as uh, soon as we know, uh, you will know. Um, but just be ready. Uh, just be ready for whatever it takes for us to get together. Amen. Um, there is nothing that the enemy can do to stop us from being the church. And Amen. we plan on being the church. Uh, and not just going to church, but we plan on being the church. And so um, with that being said, uh, do you have anything that you want to share with yeah, I just I just want to encourage everyone. Um, I know that this has kind of been a crazy day and uh, actually last several months in this whole year. But um, I just want to encourage you, you know, God saw this day and uh, he knows what's going on. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be moved. Um, Jesus said that, you know, we would see these signs as the day approaches, and that day is Jesus is coming back soon, and He is coming yeah, back. Absolutely. And so we don't have to be afraid. This is actually a great time for believers to rise up and take your place in the authority that you have in Christ and pray and seek God. Absolutely. And be a light in darkness because people out there are afraid and we sure cannot be one of those people that don't know what to do and are, are acting crazy on Facebook and everywhere Absolutely. else. Don't argue with people. Absolutely. Just shine a light. Just be the light. Pray for people. This is the time where we can rise up and just pray for one another and encourage each other. And, um, and, you know, Jesus is coming back soon. And I just have a few scriptures that I just wanted to encourage you guys mm -hmm. with. Um, Proverbs 18.10 in the New King James uh, Version says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. That's you and me. Absolutely. That's what we do. when We know that when 
when trouble comes that we look to the Lord, that he is our provider, he's our helper, mm -hmm. he's our counselor, he's our strong tower, and re we, we can run to him. Absolutely. And then I love in Psalm 27, it is so good. I'm reading it out of the uh, Good News Translation, but it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. I will fear no one. Say, that's me. That's me. That's me. The Lord protects me from all danger. That means COVID and everything else. Amen. I will never be afraid. When evil people attack me and try to kill me, they stumble and fall. Even if a whole army surrounds me, I will not be afraid. Even if enemies attack me, I will still trust God. And this is verse 4 of Psalm 27. I have asked the Lord for one thing. One thing only do I want. To live in the Lord's house all my life. To marvel there at his goodness and to ask for his guidance. In times of trouble, he will shelter me. Say, that's me. That's me. <laughs> we are definitely in times of trouble. But the word says that he will shelter us. Absolutely. He will keep me safe in his temple and make me secure on a high rock. So I will triumph over my enemies around me. You know, some, some of those enemies we can't even see right now. A lot of them we can't see. Their fear, their anxiety, their depression, their oppression, maybe their job loss. Who knows what they are. But it says that they will not triumph over us. That's what the word says. With shouts of joy, I will offer sacrifices in his temple. I will sing. I will praise the Lord. And then in verse 13 and 14 of the same chapter, Psalm 27, I'm going to read it out of the good news and then the, the passion translation, but I highly recommend reading this Psalm like over and over. It's one of my favorite Psalms. There's a bunch of them that I love, but Psalm 27 is just amazing. It is so good. So encouraging for any day, any season that you're in. It says, I know that I will live to see the Lord's goodness in this present life. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord. Have faith. Do not despair. Trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then in the Passion, it says, yet I totally trust you to rescue me one more time. Wow. So that I can Thank see you. once again how good you are while I'm still alive. Here's what I've learned through it all. Don't give up. Don't be mm -hmm. impatient. Be entwined as one with the Lord. Be brave and courageous and never lose hope. Yes, keep on waiting for he will never disappoint you. Isn't that good news? That's good news. And you know what? The Bible is full of good news. And you know, I realize that there's a lot of bad news out there. Not that you can't ever, you can't avoid the bad news and we don't necessarily need to, but we need to keep it in perspective according to the word of God. We always walk by faith, no matter what we see, because faith, it, it has nothing to do with sight. It has nothing to do with how we feel. It has everything to do with the word of God and his word is worthy. It's, he's trustworthy. We can trust that everything in this book, everything in our Bible, whatever he said, that's what he will do for us. Amen. Isn't it just like the world that would make us want to uh, just give up and quit, mm -hmm. you know, and when, when things get hard, when things get, uh, get uh, out of the norm, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like the enemy that wants us to quit, you know, yeah. but I always think about it like this. What are we quitting to? Right. What do you have to Nothing. quit to? <laughs> we look to God That's as right. our source for everything that mm -hmm. we need. And so we can't quit on God. Um, I, I was thinking about, as you were reading that, I was thinking about um, 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18 in the message. It says, so we're not giving up. Mm -hmm. How could we, even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. On the inside, where God is making new life, not a day goes by without us or his unfolding grace. <laughs> These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times, the lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are here today and gone tomorrow, but the things we cannot see now will last 
forever. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the things we're looking at these things mm -hmm. and these events that are taking place, and these events are temporary. That's right. These events, this too mm -hmm. shall pass. That's right. The virus, coronavirus, this shall pass. That's right. All this uh, upheaval in our government and all these yes. things that are happening, this too shall pass. That's right. And as believers, we have to stand firm on the word of God. We have to stand firm and not quit and not give up. That's right. And continue to keep our faith. Continue to walk in faith. Faith for the things that you can't see. Begin to speak those things that be not as though they were. Yeah. Jesus did the same thing. That's right. He spoke those things that be not as though That's they right. were. You know? I mean, what else? How can you literally, as believers... Um, if you are not um, subscribed, I have to tell you, you must subscribe to the Victory Channel. Yes. You yes. must subscribe to the Victory Channel. Go to YouTube after mm -hmm. this is over. Download the app. Download the app on your phone. Mm -hmm. it's, it's free, the Victory Channel. They are so encouraging, and they've been giving um, updates continually, but they do it in the spirit of faith. And I'm telling you what, that's, that's our lane. Absolutely. Like we will never, ever go in any other lane but faith. Absolutely. We have seen it work and we know that that's the only way that we can please God. But it's, it's like a safety net. Absolutely. It's like a foundation. Like if you're not walking in that, I mean, you're just, you're just out there. You don't have what you need. And so they're, it's like, you know, how do you weather a storm? Mm -hmm. It's like your umbrella is your faith, you know? It's our oh, foundation. Yeah. It's, it's everything. It's above, beneath. It's, oh, it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's our foundation. It's, it's, it's you know, it's us. And faith comes by hearing. Yeah. And so you go, well, why do you want me to download, you know, the app? Yep. And why do you want me to download or go to, to, uh, to, to Victory Channel and all these other mm -hmm. channels? that Because you have to continuously right. hear it. Hear it, hear it. Faith comes by hearing. And even when you're studying the word, yeah. faith, your faith can be built by you reading the word out loud yes. to yourself. The first person that's going to hear you reading out loud is it's you. you. Right? <laughs> and, and that's and who comes, needs to hear it. it comes faith. That's why we got to do it out loud. That's, that's right. why we, that's why we whisper, say the scriptures that's how you can't out think loud. It. You yes. got to speak to these hear things. It. You got to hear it. That's right. You got to hear it. And be be careful who you listen to. Yes. Because there's some people out there that are negative, that 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 have gloom and doom on their mind and yep. things are getting worse things. Listen, God's seen this day. That's Before right. this day even happened, God knows everything and he has a plan. He has a plan for us, especially for his children. Amen. He has a plan for you. He has a plan for me. Amen. We just have to follow it. That's right. Amen. We yeah. just have to stay obedient to the faith. We have to keep the faith. That's Matter right. In fact, I think that's going to be my message this weekend <laughs> on Sunday. Keep the faith. I'm sorry, the new right. series. There, <laughs> there it is right there. But it's keep the faith. You have that's to right. keep the faith. Yep. Faith is what pleases God. Yes. If we want to be pleasing to God in this season, mm -hmm. we have to walk by faith. That's right. That's why the name of our church is Faith Alive Church. That's right. Because we don't ever want to mm -hmm. see our faith die out. Amen. We want to keep our faith alive. And, um, yeah. and it's, it's funny though, because I think about that, you know, everything that we, God has ever done, it's, it's been through Absolutely. faith, like everything in our Absolutely. lives. Like we're sitting in a house today that we Absolutely. just got last week. We sold our other one, didn't Absolutely. even have to put it on the market. Like God is so faithful he's and so all he does, he's so good and he's good to everyone who trusts in him. Absolutely. You turn to the Lord and your life will never be the same Absolutely. again. And I'm, I promise you that, you know, we have so much hope in Jesus, Absolutely. so much hope and, and we have to be hope for others, you know, and I just want to encourage you if you. If you come to our church, wherever you're watching us right now or wherever you are, even if you're not at Faith Alive, you're maybe in another state or country mm -hmm. watching us. Just be encouraged that you're Absolutely. you're in a family of faith, that we are in That's this right. together. If you if we you are gonna a, get through this together. If you have something that you're believing for, and yeah, we need let to, us know. We, we need would to love come to, to agree agreement with you, with you on Absolutely. healing, prosperity, whatever it is. Whatever hey, the God send the us word, a message. Absolutely. We'll whatever you. the word tells you that you can have, you can have it. Mm -hmm. You know, and the word says that if two or more agree on anything, That's right. 
and that uh, that he is there in their midst mm -hmm. and it will be done. That's right. And that's the most powerful force in yeah. the world mm -hmm. is agreement. And so we would love to agree with you. Um, you know, if, they, if you're believing for healing, if you're dealing with sickness in your body right now, reach out to us. Yes. Let us know. We have a whole prayer list, uh, a care team yes. that actually prays that we post it out there and they respond. I'm telling Amen. you, they respond with that's some right. powerful prayers. Amen. And uh, so that's what we're here for. We're here to be uh, to, to be to encourage you. We're here to be in agreement with you. We're here to be part of Amen. your family. Yep. Amen. A spiritual family. That's even greater than than a natural family, the biological family. Yeah. You know, uh, this is this is why the enemy is attacking the church so much right now. Mm -hmm with with sickness with disease with the fear of coronavirus with the fear of all these things why because he wants to divide us and he wants to conquer us he knows that if we don't stay together if we don't stick together he can he can get us off to the side mm -hmm. and he can steal from us yeah. he can kill us and he can destroy us yeah with, with just happen. our lack of belief without yeah. our lack of agreement with one another yeah. so let's stay together Let's stick this thing out together. We are getting through this and we are going to get through this in victory. That's We're right. going to have victory all day long, Amen. every day long. You wake up in the morning, you speak victory over your life. Amen. You don't speak doubt and unbelief. You speak victory over your life. If you want to find out what the word says about your situation, mm -hmm. you got to find it. You got to locate it. Right. You have to locate it yep. and you have to apply it to your life. And guess what? It'll work every single time. It'll work. Yes. But be encouraged. Be encouraged. Don't be, uh, you know, don't don't be like, you know, weighed down with depression and, and unhappiness and, yeah. and and doom and gloom and fear. Pick up your word and, and, right. and walk in victory. Walk in the victory that Jesus has already provided for Amen. you. I was talking to a good friend today about... Uh, about uh, posting online, how people were posting negative things online, mm -hmm. and uh, and and he said, "Man, I, I just have to watch what I say because I get a little excited sometimes, and <laughs> I think I go overboard and I say a little more than I should say." And and uh, and he said, "I I don't want to alienate people, but I want the truth to go out and I want the truth to be known." Yeah. And one of the things that the Lord had me share with him is is the battle is already won. That's right. Jesus has already won the battle for us believers. Amen. So we we fight not with flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. We fight against spiritual powers and principalities That's of right. darkness. That's right. And we know how to fight. We fight just like Jesus fought. We fight with the word. That's right. We, what does the word say about it? Mm -hmm. And you fight with that. Amen? Amen. And the battle's already won. We don't even have to fight. All the the only fight that we have to be a part of is the good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's where it is, you know, and we have to stay, uh, we have to stay there in that place of, of right. faith. Amen. Yeah. Well, you got anything else? I don't think so. If you, um, if you haven't heard of Rick Renner, you should. And I'm, yes. I'm post, I'm highlighting his book tonight because it is so good. It's called Signs You'll See Just Before Jesus Comes Yes. by Rick Renner. I highly recommend it. Go get it. It's good. It's good stuff. It's on Amazon or wherever you want to go to his website, but it is so good. It'll encourage you. And he tells, he tells this in his book and on his broadcast that <clears throat> if you're listening to prophecies or pastors or other people that are talking uh, about things that are going to be happening and they're... And they're talking fear, doom, and gloom. You need to turn that off because God is not trying to make us afraid. He is not putting fear in us. He is right. telling us these things in the word of things that are coming because he's preparing us. It has nothing to do with him, us wanting to be afraid. So, That's right. so turn it off if it makes you afraid That's because right. fear is not from God. Listen to things that build you up. That's right. You know? That's right. And uh, people, be around people who build you up. Don't be around people who are negative and and uh, and, and operate out of fear. That's you right. Know, fear will paralyze you. Yep. And uh, you you'll just freeze and you won't know what to do. And the enemy will know right what to do with you. That's right. As soon as you freeze up, he's got you. Yep. Amen. 
And uh, so don't freeze up. Uh, walk by faith and stand on the word of God and, and, and God will come through for you. Amen. Amen. So uh, I, I think what I'd like to do is spend the rest of um, tonight praying mm -hmm. and uh, just building up our most holy faith and hey if you have a, your own prayer language uh feel free to pray with us and join in and okay. and pray in the spirit and uh i just uh we just like i said we just wanted to get on tonight and uh, give you a few words of encouragement mm -hmm. and and pray over you um definitely our, our country needs prayer right now amen and, and so let's just go to the, to the lord in prayer and um, thank you jesus well father we come to you tonight asking for your wisdom, for those who lead our amazing country, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us, Lord, to get back to the principles and the truth, Lord. The principles and the truth that this great nation was founded upon, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Father, we pray for peace and we pray for unity. And we rebuke the spirit of division in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Just as Chronicles or Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, if your people who are called by your name would humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways then you would hear them and you would forgive us for our sins and you would heal our land yes, father sir. i ask that Thank you would you, go forth today and heal our land mm -hmm. father our, our cities we need healing lord yes, father sir. our state we need healing lord yes father our nation we need healing Father, healing that comes from you, healing that comes straight from the throne, Father God. So we just, we take this time to pray for those who are in authority. First Timothy 2 and 2 says, pray for every political leader and representative so that we would be able to live a tranquil, undisturbed life and that we would worship and be in awe of an inspiring God with pure hearts. Father, yes, we Lord. come to you. We pray for our president tonight, Lord. Lord. We pray for our vice president tonight. And all the cabinet members, Lord. Yes, Lord. And our chief justice. And our justices of uh, the Supreme Court, Lord. Yes, Lord. To receive the wisdom of God. Yes, to Jesus. act in obedience you, to that wisdom. wisdom right and for the power of God to flow through yes, your lives, Lord. Lord. God. No Father, we pray for every God. member of the Senate. And the House yes, of Representatives you, Jesus, to find peace and direction for those men and women to act and lead according to your word, Lord. Yes, Lord. A house divided against itself, Lord, we know will not stand. Yes, and Father Lord. God, we declare over the United States of America that we will not be a house that is divided. Yes. Satan, we in come against you right now in the name of, you, right now, the name you, of Jesus. We rebuke every divisive force, yes, every Lord. divisive spirit mm -hmm. that tries to infiltrate our government system lord father yes. we lift them up to you father i thank you lord that the the uh, the buildings lord even the buildings uh in our capital lord are marked with your word lord as yes, the foundation lord. of thank what you, this nation is built upon lord and we will not stand by lord we will not stand by silent lord but we will speak up for your word and yes. we will say these here the united states of america are indeed united in one accord in an agreement with your word in, in jesus, jesus name. name father we pray for our uh, local government officials lord yes, father lord. we ask that they would receive the wisdom of god that they would be able to act in obedience to the wisdom and that they would flow in the power of god i pray lord for the protection and the covering for all our law enforcement yes, and our Lord. men and women in our military yes, and their Lord. families, Lord. We just lift them up to you today, Father. Mm -hmm. And Father, I pray over our family, Lord. I pray yes, over Lord. our Faith Alive family. Yes, Father, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that sickness is far from our midst, Lord. Yes, I pray Lord. that the healing power of God flows through every member, every attendee of Faith Alive Church. No sickness, no disease will even come near their dwelling. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed by your stripes, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for the power of the Holy Spirit working and moving yes, at Lord. Faith Alive Church, thank Lord. You, Father, I thank you, Lord, that you would give us wisdom for the future, Lord. Yes, Father, I thank you, Lord, that you would give us direction, Lord, that you would give us 
uh, wisdom on what the next step is, Lord, when we should open, how we should open, and what we should do, Lord. Father, we trust you. We look to you for everything that we need, Lord. Yes, Lord. I pray over every family that attends Faith Alive Church and that calls Faith Alive Church their home church. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you would give them everything that they need, everything that pertains to life and godliness, you would provide for them, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you give them protection. Thank you, Lord, that you give them provision. Thank you, Lord, that you give them health over their bodies, Lord. And thank you, Lord, that above all, that you would give them peace, the peace that passes all understanding, your personal peace. May your personal peace overwhelm and overtake them in every area of their life, Father. I thank you for those that have anxiety tonight, Father. I thank you that your word tells us that we should not worry about anything because you are with us, Lord. Yes, Lord. I, Father, I rebuke the spirit of fear. Yes, I rebuke the, the spirit of, of anxiety. And I say I peace you, that passes Jesus, all understanding be abundant in their life. In Jesus' you, mighty name, Father, we just thank you for that. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank, thank you and you, declare Father. that we are rooted yes, and grounded Lord. in your love today. Yes, Lord. Lord, that we know the width and the length and the height and the depth of that love, Lord, and it is a foundation under our feet. Yes. I declare that no weapon formed against us, our families, yes, our country, Lord. our nation, our leaders, none of them will prosper. Lord, thank I you, thank Lord. you, Lord, that terrorism must bow at the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that you protect our nation, that you protect yes, those that are fighting for us, thank Father. You, we just thank you for the peace thank of you, God Father. ruling in our hearts and minds. Yes. In you, we declare we have the mind of Christ, that we have discernment and wisdom to know what is right and what is not. I thank you, Lord, that the peace of God would rest on all those tonight who hear our voice. We just declare right now that no weapon formed no against weapon our country against. will prosper. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that Seek we that have the spirit of faith and we are free from the bondage of sin. Lord, we just declare right now the truth prevails. Yes, the truth of your word prevails. We just thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing. Even now, God, at the sound of our voice, as we pray, yes, Lord. Lord, and we just thank you that you said when your people call upon you, humble themselves and pray. Lord, yes, that Lord. you were talking to Christians. You yes, were talking Lord. to us. Yes. So, Lord, we pray. We seek your face. We turn thank from you, any Lord. and every wicked way. And we repent for even going in yes, that Lord. way. And we thank you, Lord, that you hear us. You thank heal you, this Lord. land. On behalf of those who aren't praying, Lord, we pray for them too. And we pray peace over this country. We declare peace and unity in the name of Jesus. We declare, Lord, that we have everything we need on the inside yes, to live a godly life, to live, to live a life of peace and prosperity you, and joy and strength and grace we declare that we receive your peace we receive yes. your joy in we jesus receive name. your strength and your wisdom in right jesus now name. in jesus name yes lord father we enter into 2021 with abundant favor lord. Yes, unmerited lord. favor um, an abundance of your grace, Lord, mm -hmm. shed abroad to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Thank that you, goodness Jesus. and mercy would follow us all the days of our life, Lord. And no weapon formed against us would prosper. We thank you, Lord, that the enemy has no place or part in our lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for supernatural favor, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that uh, we would be, uh, we would just be lifted up and uh, and that we would know without a shadow of a doubt that yes, we are Lord. blessed and highly favored right. every moment of the day. Yes. Father, I thank you for your goodness, Lord. Good things will happen That's right. to every single one of your children, Lord, throughout this pandemic, Father. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus, and we just say thank you yes, that Lord. you are indeed our sole provider. That's Lord. right. Everything that we need, mm -hmm. everything that we need. Thank you, Jesus. We just thank you for it, Lord. We glorify, we glorify you. your name. Thank you, Father. Lord. We lift you up. We yes, magnify Jesus. you, Lord. You're worthy of praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank that you that you're our healer, your Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for those that may be thank sick you, or, or dealing with coronavirus or yes. other things going on in we their bodies. I come against them, pain. Lord. I come against inflammation. I come against disease yes. and virus, coughing, congestion, yes. flu, whatever it is, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is under the name of Jesus. Jesus and so we just name. speak the name of Jesus over all those who are sick right now. And we yes, thank Lord. you that by your stripes they were healed and made whole in yes, their bodies. Lord. No weapon formed against them would divine prosper. Healing. We thank you that they yes, walk, Lord. that we walk in thank divine you, health and wholeness in our bodies. Thank you in for Jesus miracles, name. Lord. Yes, Lord. Miracles, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Supernatural miracles, yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father. Eyes opening up, ears yes, opening Lord. up in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, you Jesus. God. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And everybody said amen. <laughs> amen. 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 Well, we miss you guys. And like I said, we'll be uh, updating you on uh, when we'll be gathering together once again in person. We're looking over a few things. Uh, we want to do this thing right. And uh, we love you guys and care about you guys. Amen. And, uh, and we're just praying for you. And uh Know that you are always in our hearts. That's right. And we love you so much. Mm. Amen. Yep. Amen. Anything else that we need to let them know? Keep the faith. Keep the faith. <laughs> Sunday morning. Stay encouraged. Stay in the word. Yes. Stay, in, Stay the word. in prayer. Stay in the word. Stay away from negative people. That's right. And, uh, you know, if God puts it on your heart to fast, uh, do fast. it. And, yeah. And if God puts it on your heart to pray for some one in particular stop what you're doing and pray for them yes um, because this is a time where the body of christ we need you that's right and, and, uh, hey call that you. person we and pray need for you. call that person <laughs> if god puts text somebody them, on whatever. your heart just yeah. to say hello just call them text them Amen. say hello hey i was that's just right. thinking about you that's right and so well we love you guys we and, love y'all too uh, we're gonna head out <laughs> and uh, you guys have a beautiful night and uh, may God give you sweet sleep tonight. Amen. And, uh, we love you. And we'll see you. Uh, guys, I'll see you Saturday morning for the men's breakfast. And so we will mm -hmm. be having that. We're not canceling that at all. So we'll see you Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And we'll be having breakfast. And uh, I'll be bringing the word. And so uh, you don't want to miss that. Uh, ladies, if you're on here, tell your guy. Give him a little nudge. Say, hey, you need to get up and go out to the men's breakfast. Amen. Uh, because it's going to be an encouraging time. And uh, we're just looking forward to it. God's got some amazing days ahead for Faith That's Alive right. Church. That's right. Uh, and uh, I, I love you guys. And, uh, we love y'all. I trust that you're, you're, you'll be a part of it. So, Amen. We're praying amen. for you. We're praying for y'all. All right. If you need anything, For hit real. us up. We're on Facebook. Call, you got email, our phone numbers, email, just if you need anything. Whatever. Message us. We're here. <laughs> We're available for you. Yep. Well, all right. God bless. Let's land this plane. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. We're done. Love you guys. Love you all. Bye bye now. <laughs>